Oh, check out this uh, silk scarf, which is also a map of China. Map of Shanghai? Map of Shanghai that I stole from my mom. Someone gave it to her, she didn't want it. So I thought it was really interesting though, that it was a scarf. Do you think I should frame this? I was trying to make a series, but none of the other ones turned out very well. I think I threw a bunch of the other ones away and I still have a couple that turned out okay. But yeah, it's just a simple painting and I really liked the colors. And it's just, it was easy, it was abstract. And I liked how it go, the colors complement the teal that I have everywhere. But I don't know where to put it. Like, I feel like it needs to be part of a series. So maybe I'll put it like in that blank area. I don't know what to put in this area, guys. That's all this random stuff that I've collected that I don't know what to do with. But right now there's this whole blank wall near my kitchen. And then I thought, which one would push me more? Like, which one is more un uncomfortable for me? And it was definitely acting. And I used to love acting, so it kind of brought back all these childhood, like, dreams I've had. Um, I wanted to be an actress when I was a kid. I think a lot of people did, I don't know. But hey, it's gonna be, like, just for fun. It's 10 weeks. Hey, lovely people. As you can see, this video is all over the place today. Um, I we filmed it over the last three weeks. Everything's from like different time periods. Um, what can I say? There were birthdays, um, Chinese New Year. I went to LA. I went to Colorado. I'll put some clips in from Colorado later, um, just because I have them. And it was a lovely trip. Uh, in which I went to visit my high school friend and it snowed most of the time, but I got a lot of indoor time in. I got a lot of museums in. Um, the food there was excellent. I would not live there necessarily, but uh, it's a great place for a weekend trip. Yeah, I it's been so long and it's because I don't want to film. Like, I, the longer I waited, the less interesting talking to a camera felt. Um, and I only do this if I want to, so yeah, it's been three weeks since I filmed a video and a lot has happened that doesn't really need to, <laughs> um, be discussed, but, you know, I was dating, I was upset about not dating, I was all these things, there was that one person I liked, and long story short, that completely ended this week so then I had some time to recover and had time to think. All good things we weren't like dating exclusively or anything. It was just someone who I thought I wanted to date exclusively or like one of the few people I wanted to explore like continuing getting to know in a serious relationship context but um I feel like Okay, so a lot actually came up during the official ending of the correspondence. Um, a lot of personal childhood um, experiences of mine that I had with my parents and a lot of personal concerns I have about being a good partner or ever finding a healthy relationship. I'm not going to get into it, but suffice to say it took a couple days to get over the repercussions of like thinking about why this didn't work out and it felt like it was sort of because of a lot of my own personal problems that 
cause it, but at the end of the day, I don't really know him that well, so I'm just going to take that with a grain of salt. And I am going to probably try to date a lot. Um, I know it's, I said that I wasn't going to, but um, when I feel motivated to date, it's quite rare. And I want to take this energy and take this time to get back out there and challenge myself to be a little bit more open, more warm, and more of a good partner. Like, I just think that is a great skill to learn. I am notorious for keeping, keeping people at arm's length and being emotionally unavailable. It comes so easy to me and it's because of my upbringing, it's because of my dating history. Um, being emotionally distant is so easy and I always thought it was the answer to dating, like casual dating online. Whatever, it might have been, it didn't hurt. But um, I'm not into casual dating anymore, so I might have to be going out on a lot more limbs. I might have to be putting my um, feelings out there more. I might have to get rejected more. Um, I don't think it's anything I'm not ready to do, so we'll see. Oh my gosh, my hair is so messy. I don't know what to do with it. Today is a weekend, as you know. Uh, that's why I feel so good and I'm like relaxed and not running around and it's daytime and I'm home. Um, so I'm going to, I worked out a lot today, I didn't do that all week. I'm going to go to a cafe and start writing again, write some stand-up jokes. I'm so determined to make today very productive. And then um, in the evening I'll socialize and tomorrow I'll socialize. So I just need this time for myself. If anyone else is like an introvert, you can relate nothing matters and nothing is good if I don't have my recharging time my goal is to try to date a lot but still stay really close to my core and wish me luck because I don't know <laughs> with like time constraints I don't even know how much time I'm gonna have to like focus on myself, um, we'll see, work, work's busy, we're all busy, but, um, anyway, I guess if there's anything to take away from this video, it is, remember to take some time for yourself every day, be still, turn off distractions, just, like, chill with yourself, um, it's cool, you're really cool, and I get to hang out with you anytime you want to, and no one else can say that, so, that's kind of where I am. I'm feeling good. I will be back soon, I think. I'm pretty sure I will. Either more about this topic or just more about like um, mindfulness and life, you know, life hacks and stuff like that. Because I do have a lot of stuff on the agenda. I'm gonna go and um, do some writing and I hope that you have a beautiful day.